The U.S. State Department has approved the potential sale of a $3 billion National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System NASAM's, kit to Kuwait. The U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency DSCA, announced that Kuwait had requested to purchase seven Sentinel radars, which provide guidance for the missile system. Also requests to purchase AIM-120C8 AMRAAM, AMRAAM Extended Range, AMRAAM-ER, Tactical Missiles, and AIM-9X Sidewinder Block 2. NASAMS is a medium-range air defense system. This system is useful for fending off medium-range air threats such as aircraft, UAVs and guided missiles. NASAMS is co-produced by Norway's Kongsberg and US-based Raytheon Technologies. The NASAMS fire system consists of a platoon of 22 soldiers, equipped with a fire control center, three-dimensional radar and three mobile missile launchers. NASAMS is a combination of the NTPQ-36A or an MPQ-64 3D radar with the AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. The AMRAAM missile uses active radar homing which means that external radar guidance is no longer needed when the target is coming because it has been scanned by the AMRAAM missile's internal tracker. This system provides the opportunity for the radar to continuously scan the air while sharing the load with the missile's internal tracker in the face of various threats. This integration was developed by Kongsberg through the BMC-4I system which is also called the Fire Distribution Center FDC. The FDC is connected to the NTPQ-36A radar via the Acquisition Radar and Control System ARCS, module. In addition to functioning as a threat evaluator and weapon assignment, the ARC system also functions to protect friendly aircraft. The range of the NASAM system is 40 to 50 kilometers, lower than the Aster 30 which reaches a distance of 100 kilometers. NASAM's functions more as a cover for a broad defense system because it is easy to integrate via radio data link. The mobile NASAM's to cover valley areas that are not well covered by the main radar. NASAMS delivers real-time aerial images that can be shared with other systems. Another advantage of NASAMS, this missile can be launched even if the enemy's radar has been destroyed because NASAMS also uses external data sources to lock or track the target's position. This system has been used and is in delivery to 12 countries. The newest customers are Hungary, Lithuania and Australia. For the sale to Kuwait, Raytheon will be responsible for delivering the Advanced Medium Range Air to Air Missile AMRAM, for the NASAM system. Meanwhile, Kongsberg will supply the launch system. The number and value of potential contracts set out in the State Department's notification to Congress is subject to change, the DSCA said. Earlier this summer, the U.S. State Department also approved the sale of AMRAM missiles and guided bombs to Kuwait for the Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft for an estimated cost of about $397 million.